Every year Google launches its premium Pixel phones and last year we got the Google Pixel 3 and Pixel 3 XL. This year Google also launched mid-range Pixels named Pixel 3a and Pixel 3a XL. Now we are all waiting for the upcoming Google Pixel 4 and Pixel 4 XL to launch and the phones are most likely launching in October. Now this time Google itself has revealed a lot about the Google Pixel 4 like the design from the back or the various sensors for face unlock and motion sensing on the front. Also looking at the specifications that have leaked, it won't be wrong to say that the Google Pixel 4 and Pixel 4 XL are major upgrades this time unlike the last year's Pixel phones. Now you may already know about the design of both the phones but just to recap the Google Pixel 4 and Pixel 4 XL have a squarish camera module on the back that houses three camera sensors as well as the LED flash. This is similar to the upcoming iPhones as Apple's next iPhone also has a square camera module. The Google Pixel 3 XL was criticized for that ugly notch but this time we have no notch, no cutout in the screen. Google has moved the screen slightly lower to trim down the bottom chin but to make the top bezel bigger. Now the top bezel is bigger for a reason and that reason is all the sensors that are there for face unlock as well as motion sensing. Google has already revealed the details about all the sensors that are there so we have face unlock infrared cameras, the face unlock flood illuminator, the face unlock dot projector and the solid radar chip along with other normal sensors. So Google is planning to compete with Apple's face ID by implementing its own face unlock mechanism using all these sensors. Now the solid radar chip is there for motion sensing. Soli is actually a motion sensing radar and it is used to sense the motions happening around the phone to take actions based on them. Well that's all about the design so now let's talk about the specifications. One of the biggest upgrades in terms of the specifications is going to be that display. For the first time Google Pixel phones are coming with 90Hz displays, something that we have on phones like the OnePlus 7 Pro. Like OnePlus's fluid AMOLED display, Google has its own name for this screen and the company simply calls it Smooth Display. Now the smaller Google Pixel 4 has 5.7 inch Full HD Plus OLED display whereas the Pixel 4 XL gets a bigger 6.3 inch Quad HD Plus OLED display. Now the battery life might not be that good at least when we talk about the smaller Pixel 4. This is because the phone is coming with a small 2800mAh battery and as we have seen in the case of 4000mAh battery of OnePlus 7 Pro, the 90Hz display is gonna empty the juice pretty quickly. So we hope that Google has done some crazy software optimization and as for the Google Pixel 4 XL it has a pretty big 3700mAh battery. There is Snapdragon 855 powering both the phones and unlike last year both the phones have 6GB RAM with 64 or 128GB storage options. The cameras have always been the best thing about Google Pixel phones and this year is no different. This time we are getting triple cameras on the back and this is the first time Google is going for multiple rear cameras on its Pixel devices. So the primary camera is a 12 megapixel shooter that could be the same sensor as Pixel 3. There is a secondary 16 megapixel telephoto camera so no wide angle camera is there on the back. The third camera is most likely a time of flight sensor. Now a source also suggested that Google is working on a DSLR like attachment for the Pixel 4 devices that the users will be able to buy along with the phone to get some DSLR like features. So that's interesting. So that's all about the upcoming Google Pixel 4 and Pixel 4 XL. The pricing and launch date is not yet known so let's wait for that. Anyways, what do you think of the upcoming Pixel 4 devices? Do let me know via the comment section below. I'll catch you in the next one.